Hi everyone, it is currently 3.30 in the morning and you know if I'm this excited at that hour, it means I'm heading to the airport. Me and Sarah, where are you Sarah? Sarah's just finishing putting our things together. We are about to head to the airport now to head to Miami and we're so excited. Barely slept last night. I wouldn't even say we got like four hours to sleep so and we're gonna have a day today. We've landed in Miami and we have to take a train to get to our luggage. Yeah, we just got lost. This is such a big airport. I've never had to take a train to get my luggage. So we have arrived. Look how cute Sarah and our room is. We gotta document our cute little tiki looking room before we ruin it. Look, our um, drawers already don't shut. Yeah, but they that's don't shut. fine. It's Look. it's actually a really cute hotel. <laughs> Kimpton Sarcoma, not sponsored, not sponsored, but they have like they gave us these bracelets, so we're gonna go to the beach later. Yeah. Our plan is to head shopping now, and uh, they have little beach towels and chairs, so you can use those for. So we're excited. Look, here's the bathroom. We just went to scope around the hotel and the beach wow. and we can't stop seeing how beautiful and stunning it is. So yes. we're literally just going to shop quickly because we want to spend the rest of the day on the beach. Wrong shot town got it going on and New York is the city that we know don't sleep. And we all know that LA and Philly stay jiggy, but on the snake, Miami bring a heat for real. Like, I don't know what's going on with style these days, but if a shoe is a work, that would be it. Vita was so good and now we are at CVS to get snacks, water, some things for the room and Sarah's getting nails. Little CVS haul, we're gonna put it in our snack cupboard over there. Tanning at the beach. It's Hilly so nice. I know we just found out that Hailey Beaver's pregnant. I'm a little shocked. A little shocked there. I think I'd be more upset about it if I wasn't in Miami. Yeah, Somehow. agree. Okay, Somehow. guess the name. Go. Uh, Teddy. We are back in the room. Just got ready to take some pictures on the beach. Both our dresses are from Zara. It is so hot here. We're really having a time. And then we're going to go eat at this summer. Mexican place across the street. Just finished taking some Instagram pictures. The sunset was stunning. Beautiful. And now we're gonna go ahead and have some food. Oh, so pretty. It is the next morning. Last night, dinner was so much fun. They played such good music. And then afterwards, we just kind of walked around and explored around our hotel and then decided to go to bed early because we have been up since 3 a.m. And I was working night shifts before that, so my sleep schedule is so whack. And Sarah had an interview this morning, so she's down doing that now. I'm just gonna get ready quickly. 
I think the plan is we're gonna grab breakfast, maybe Joe and the juice, and then our hotel is having yoga this morning. So we'll do that, I think, before we head to Water Patio for lunch. Yoga this morning was so good. Felt like we were in a little workout video. Yeah. And, and now we are heading to Water Patio for lunch. Got it going on, and New York is the city that we know don't sleep. And we all know that LA and Philly stay jiggy, but on the snake, Miami bring a heat for real. Y'all don't understand. I've never seen so many come in. Water patio was so good, highly recommend. Now we're just having coke by the pool. Okay, so. This afternoon, we had so much fun. We just hung out by the pool, took some pictures at the beach, and now we are getting ready. We're gonna head down to Salsa by the pool and Carbone tonight. Sarah, show your outfit. Okay. Mm -hmm. The little braid. Very cute. Yeah. Yeah. And look, I accidentally like, burned one part of my arm. Really bad. Love that. We're running to Salsa. We're running late, but hopefully they'll still let us join the dance. Look at our little sparkly shoes. Mm -hmm. Look at the dirty towels. <laughs> our hotel had free mini acai bowls and Chardonnay. We love. We got hooked up. We got free wine. Free wine from the hotel. Ooh, we love. We love you. Thank you, Lewis. Shout out to Lewis. All ages and races, real sweet faces, every different nation, Spanish, Haitian, Indian, Jamaican, black, white, Cuban, or Asian. I only came for two days to play. Okay, we're back and we're ready to try to get into live. So pretty much what happened was we were going to buy tickets and then we ran into this lovely man who works at our hotel named Lewis and he said, girls don't pay anything. Do not spend a dime tonight, ladies. Show up, don't buy tickets and you'll get it. And we're like, really? And he was like, trust me, you will get in. He was like, ladies, what room are you staying in? Do you like wine? We were like, yeah. And he was like, I'll drop you off a complimentary bottle to help you get your night started. I'm like, what a gentleman. Lewis, we love you. Lewis. Tell Lewis. Tell Lewis. Tell Lewis. Where's, Where's yours? Tell Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> good morning it is what day is it saturday we are on the way to soul cycle class oh my god my voice and lewis was right last night we did get in for free it was amazing it felt like like a really good concert like it didn't feel like just like a club with a yeah. dj what did you think of live i loved it it was so fun we're in vegas 
Little baggage moment. Sarah Ditchy, the same DJ. Stevie Oki. Stevie Oki in Vegas. Okay, okay, now we saw him in Miami and we got so close. Right yeah. under the stage. <laughs> we finished in class. It was so good. And then we decided to walk 20 minutes to Pura Vida. And it is so warm in Florida. Sarah just had to use her Lululemon running Ooh. shorts to act as a towel for oh her forehead. Look at the puppy. We just got back to the hotel. It was so hot. We tried to get the bus and then we missed it and it only comes every 30 minutes. So we Uber back. Cause yeah. For six bucks. For six bucks, not bad. But we stopped at Trader Joe's. So we're gonna do a little Trader Joe's haul. I got almonds for Ooh. $4. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Big pack. Actually, Trader Joe's is much more economical than groceries in Canada. Facts. Besides the conversion, like if you got paid in USD. $9.99 Omega 3s. I'll give you an example. The same bottle. Oh shit. The same bottle is, this is like almost $30 back home. Crazy. $9.99. The Trader Joe's guy at the checkout, he couldn't believe it. He, he said, like, I was going to move to Canada almost. Shocked. Thank God I didn't. And then of course some seasonings of different Oh kinds. you got the little other one. Yeah, the everything bagel and then I got the uh, garlicky and spicy blend season. Nice. That'll be good on like everything. Everything, yeah. Just put it on everything. Literally. Yeah. I got all of this stuff for twenty nine dollars. I got mine was seventeen. Oh okay. <laughs> just my grand total. I got these little tortilla chili and lime. What's the chip that they're supposed to be a knockoff of or a healthier version of? Takis, Takis, Takis. Takis. Oh. Two of these, do I get the same kind? Yeah, mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups because they're so good. And I got the other one to give as a gift. And I got these little mini almond biscottis or biscotti cookies. Got everything but the bagel seasoning too. Look at all the snacks. I go crazy in grocery stores. Organic gummy bears. Yeah. They're only a dollar. This little pack of dark chocolate peanut butter cups. These little chocolate bars because they make a great little present for friends when you come back from somewhere. Stick it with a little souvenir. It's a perfect little treat. Organic licorice. I got a protein bar. That's a haul. Mm, hi hydrated. Nourished. Oh, oh, and I got a big bottle, like a liter of water, a liter and a half for 79 cents. This is the looks. We're already to head to Sexy Fish. She has risen from the dead and she is born. Every night she'll crawl, every night she'll fall. <laughs> Why is that literally us? Cause Naomi and Sarah have risen. To go out in Miami tonight after Sexy Fish because our rezzo was low key kind of early because that was the only time we could get a table. It's at 5:30. Then we explored around that area, went shopping, got gelato, came back, and then our plan was we were like, oh maybe we'll go to 11 tonight or live, but then we were just so pooped. We almost didn't go out tonight. Sarah was ready to just lay in bed and watch Lilo and Stitch, and I said nope. We gotta do something because we're in Miami and we're only this young once and it's Saturday night. So we're gonna meet in the middle. We're gonna do like a chill vibe. We're gonna go to water patio again for a cocktail and enjoy the beautiful atmosphere and hopefully they let us stick our feet in the beautiful infinity pool. So this morning we went to the pool, we did the beach, and then now we're getting ready to head to downtown Miami to go to the Dior Cafe, the Design District, and Wingwood, I'm probably saying that wrong. 
I think it's Winwood. Winwood. In the place where I come let go in Miami the base and the sunset low every day like a Mardi Gras everybody party all day no work all play okay so we sip a little something leave the rest to spill me and Charlie at the bar running up a high bill nothing less than ill when we dress to kill every time the ladies pass they be like can y'all feel me all ages and races real sweet faces every different nation Spanish Haitian Indian Jamaican it is our last night in Miami. Hard to believe the trip is going by so fast. Today, like you saw, we went to the design district, then we went to Wenwood. Both were amazing. The Dior Cafe was such an amazing experience. Highly recommend. Would you recommend, Sarah? Yes. It was so much fun. Wainwood was beautiful. All the walls definitely something to see and check out for sure after we got back we just relaxed by the pool and then tonight we're going to mango's tropical cafe for their dinner and show sarah do you want to show your outfit oh sarah has this beautiful tropical looking dress on it's from sweet pea very cute i just have on this little outfit from tiger mist i got it like a bit ago so it's not available right now but just a pink set to you and, and i'm nervous it's gonna be like severely air conditioned in there and i'm gonna be chilly what are you gonna wear for shoes well on the fence maybe my sandals one of them yeah I think i'm not so doing too. a heel tonight because we're walking our feet are taking a hit i think we've had enough with the heels yeah our feet do not look cute right really now like to sacrifice a look no, me too. I'm like, last night, whatever. Also, highly recommend Miami would definitely, definitely come back. It's like the perfect mix between your down south, like Jamaican, Mexico, beach vacation. Mm -hmm. Our hotel has a bunch of free activities, like yoga, even like free snacks, like you saw in the vlog in the evenings. A bunch of free activities. So it kind of gives you that all-inclusive like beach, pool warm weather free things vibe but then the food is fantastic and they have great shopping and other activities to do so highly recommend miami Mangoes last night was so good. 10 out of 10 experience, honestly. The singers, the dancers, they were all so talented. And it was just such a fun night. The food was good. I highly recommend if you go, definitely get the walnut apple crisp. It was delicious. Came with vanilla ice cream and caramel sauce. Today is our last day here in Miami. I'm so sad to leave. I honestly love the city of Miami so much. I'm definitely gonna have to come back, but our flight isn't until later tonight, like 9.40 p.m. So we got late check out at two. We're going to go down to yoga at 10 here and then go back to Pura Vida because it's literally been our favorite this trip. We need a Pura Vida in Toronto so, so bad, or I'm just gonna have to move to Florida because I'm obsessed. And then I think we're going to just chill by the pool till our flight. Where I come let go in 